Hi, I'm Roger Fredericks, and I want to talk today about one of the greatest methods of chipping I've ever come across, and frankly, I'd like to take credit for it, but I can't. I got it from one of the greatest short game wizards of all time, Paul Runyon, i.e. Little Poison. And I had the great opportunity of spending a lot of time with Paul, um, God rest his soul, many years ago when I was in college um, up at Sahal and also down at La Jolla Country Club. But Paul was an absolute wizard at the short game, especially chipping and putting, okay? He developed a method which I call the putting chip. In other words, a normal chip shot, I take a normal grip, you know, take it back and swing it through you know, a little wrist break, if, if any at all, and, and go through it. Paul figured out that the, that the most efficient and easiest shot to hit in golf was a putt. So why not make a chip shot just when you're off the green like this, just like a putt? But what Paul did was a little bit different than a putt. On a putt, we want the ball forward up off our left instep, and as the putter goes back, we come down, and the center or the flat spot of the putter is back here, and we're actually hitting the putter, excuse me, hitting the ball on the upswing, and that creates the top spin that we want to have in putting. So Paul figured out, well, instead of doing it quite that way, let's reverse the process. The first thing he did was he really weakened his grip. All right. So in other words, a normal grip is pretty much in the fingers here and the right hand covering the left thumb, etc. But we want to really weaken it and get the hands out of there. And what we did, or what Paul did and taught me, is I want my left hand completely under this way. You can't get it any more weak. Notice that the V formed by the thumb and finger here actually point over past my left shoulder and the V of my right hand points out past my right shoulder. All right. It's very, very hard to flip my wrist when I do that. Now, that's part one. Part two is I want to hit the ball on the downstroke. So instead of playing the ball off my left instep, I'm going to play it off my right instep. So now I have my super weak grip. I have, my, I have a wedge right here. Okay. Now if you look at the loft on my wedge, I'm going to do one more little thing. I'm going to put my hands away forward. And what I've done is I've taken the the loft of the wedge and actually turn that into about an eight and a half or a nine iron. So now I have it de-lofted, but I still have the benefit of the ball spinning up those grips, up the grooves of the club, which gives it a real, real tight spin and much more control. So now my left arm and shaft form a straight line. All I'm going to do is just put my weight forward, so approximately 70% of my weight is on my left side, and I'm just going to swing my shoulders. I don't want to break my wrist. And right here, that was a great little chip, if I may so myself. That ball and the spin on it is so tight, it was beautiful. All right? So again, I have the ball back. I'm going to put my hands way forward and de-loft it. And for people that have the yips or get a little bit nervous there, you can actually take the shaft and stick it in the wrist here and keep it there. And that will almost guarantee you no breakdown. This is breakdown. This is solid. All right, I'm just going to swing my shoulders and let the pendulum go and swing it through. Now, I can invent and play all sorts of other shops around here using this method. One thing I can do is use what I call the plop shot. Let's say I don't have very much green to work with from the edge of the green to the pin. Rather than now play the ball back, I'm going to play the ball forward, still my weak grip, and I'm going to bring my hands back. Now what have I done? Now I've added loft onto the club. So the ball's not going to spin and, and run as far. And here I can control that. The ball will be going backwards, and I can plop it. Okay, and that ball just went up and plopped right back down. I'll do that one more time. A little plop here, take it back. And see the club face here? It's actually pointing towards the sky, not trapping the ball here. Now, I'm using a wedge, but I can actually come back over here and I can really start being creative and inventing a lot more shots now. Now I can take a six iron, or excuse me, an eight iron, and let's say the pin is way back and I have a lot of green to work with. I want to run that ball all the way back there. Well, I take the eight iron and do the same type of thing. I play it back, weak grip. Now I've taken this eight iron lot, put my hands way forward. So again, my left, short, uh, left arm and shaft are in a straight line. 
and I've actually turned that eight iron into a six iron, and this ball is gonna run back there like a scared rabbit. So I'll take it back and trap it. And that ball is so tight, and that just may go in the hole, baby. Close, okay, almost. All right, so again, practice the putting chip. It's amazing how many different types of shots you can hit with this. Plops, full runners, and experiment with it. And after a while, you'll get the hang of really becoming a master of the short game, and hopefully we'll all make Paul Runyon proud of us.